Uh, hi and welcome back to a brand new video with Ministry 243 and we're gonna go to all the updates we got from the Spectacles vlog this week and elsewhere. Where we gonna start with day one which is Monday where we have a character in the spotlight and that is Shulk. Where his description says he is the only fighter that can change his status during battle. His sword in Monado allows him to switch between high modes, jump, speed, shield, buster, and smash, which changes his abilities for a short time. Fun fact, Shulk's 8th color variation puts him in a pair of swimming traps, and Shulk is not really a character that I use the whole lot in Smash Bros. in 3DS. I guess he was alright, he has an interesting, uh, he was an interesting character, of course, and um, with his little manado of his and you know the ability to change his abilities and uh, know that's something new to him instead of you know have to go through every uh, you know ability one by one you can have actually hold in the button and choose directly the one you want which is a cool little change in my opinion uh Shulk's pose looks a lot cooler than it did in uh, Wii U and 3DS uh, he it's not really a character I use the whole lot, but he's also one of those characters that have a counter and but his counter is a lot cooler than some of the other characters, which is it just happens, but for him it kinda of slows down and then he attacks. So which is pretty cool in my opinion. But I don't really have anything else to say about Shulk, I just don't really use him a whole lot and I don't think that will change in ultimate. Of course I will play and try him in ultimate of course. On Tuesday we have a Pokemon in the spotlight and that is Mush Shadow where the description says this Pokemon can hide in the shadows. When it finds its target it will emerge from the shadows and deal a powerful punch. When there are multiple opponents it may change its target between punches. So you keep better keep an eye out. Martial Shadow is a really cool addition though to the Smash Ultimate Assist roster for Pokemon. And um, it's not really a Pokemon I have a huge collection I mean connection to, but it's a cool Pokemon itself, of course. Um, I just don't have a whole lot of opinion on it because I never really had a Mash Shadow on my team. Ever. So but it's a really cool Pokemon itself, and it looks like it's actually working pretty cool in uh, Ultimate, so... Can't wait to see it in action. On Wednesday, we have a stage in the spotlight, and that is Green Greens. Where the description says, A stage based on Green Greens on Kirby's dream, Dreamland. Wispy Woods, the tree in the center, blows wind to the sides. You can eat the apples it drops to recover health, or you could just pick them up to throw them at your opponents. And this is a cool stage. I like playing on it both in Brawl and uh, in Smash Wii U. But it's not really one of my favorites. It is a returning stage from... Yeah, from Melee. But yeah, it's not my favorite, but it is a really cool stage to battle on. And I just like the big gimmick to the stage. and. The Final Destination version of this stage is kinda cool itself. I haven't played that much on it, but it was alright enough. Um, but the second update we got on Wednesday is a music track. And that is the music of Flashman stage from the Mega Man series. The arrangement is by Keiji Okabe. I think I pronounced that wrong. Anyway. And the music track itself sounds really good, actually. And I actually enjoy listening to it, and I can't wait to actually be listening to it while we're doing battle. On first day, we have another character in the spotlight, and that is Cloud. In the Final Phantom series. Where his description says, He is the protagonist of Final Fantasy VII. He can also select his adventure children outfit, Charging up his limit charge increases his special moves abilities. Land powerful hits. And Cloud is a really cool addition to Smash Bros. And he did open the door for a lot more third party characters, a lot of different third party characters. Uh, like for example Crash Panic, etc. But he is 
a really cool character, and I do like the, like you like eh. I did like using him in Smash Ultimate, in Smash Wii and 3DS. So he was one of my mains, I guess. But he was uh, he was really cool to use, and I kind of enjoy using him because he was just well, I just I don't know, I just like the moves that they really appealed to me. And his limit breaks is really cool. Like in the Etudo has, uh, as it makes his uh, movements, uh, you know, better. Depending if you're using side special or if you're using this up special, he has a launch is higher. So that's a little cool detail. On Friday, we have another character in the spotlight as well, and that is Potena. Where her description says, With wings and staffs, this goddess is attack power and wide range. With an up smash, natural special and side special. Uh, she can create a ranged attack in almost every direction, except from directly below beneath her, uh, keep keep the pressure on your opponents from a distance with ranged attacks. Polotena is not really a character I use a whole lot. She is a cool addition to Smash, of course she is. Uh, her moveset is interesting itself, of course. She is a... I'm gonna say she's a really cool character, uh, but I don't really... Well, I can't really say I used her a whole lot because I haven't, but... Her final smash though is shown in this 20 second trailer and it is the same as it was in Wii U 3DS. So there's nothing changed there. It doesn't seem like there is anything else changed to her. It seems like there's a few combinations of course to um, to her regular moves and the custom moves that can be merged into one, which is a cool addition itself I guess. And I have to try her ultimate, but I'm not so sure she's gonna become my main. But that is not really everything we got this week. We have another music track that was uh, announced for us. Uh, it was not posted on the official uh, Smash Bros. website. So this is not yet. But it is the me menu theme for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And that sounds really good. I enjoy it. It, it has some, some, uh, I guess some similar appeals to the main theme. But it feels and sounds better in my opinion. It's just, it seems like it's just a lot better than the uh, previous games too. I don't know, well it is one of my favorite. I think I will uh, say that the developers have done a really good job of the soundtrack because it is real good. And that is pretty much all the updates we got for this week. Let me know what you think about this by posting down in the comments below. Feel free to let me know which is your favorite this week. And be sure to subscribe uh, and be sure to subscribe to Ninja Tuberry for more odds of Smash Brothers, the Nintendo Switch, and more gaming videos like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ninja Tuberry signing out.